Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another Monday morning scouting report. This week, I'm going to be covering Leonard Miller, a 6'10 shooting guard in his senior season in the 2022 class at Fort Erie International Academy. Leonard Miller is a unicorn and potentially the most intriguing prospect I've scouted in Canadian high school basketball. There's nothing that he's not able to do. He's able to see the floor. He's able to score from all three levels. He's able to make decisions off the bounce. He's a quick twitch athlete. He's got great size to be able to create his own shot. And there's just no limit to what he can become at the next levels because there's no physical tools holding him back in terms of his mentality or his ability from being a star in college and at the NBA level. Part of what separates him is his unique shot-making ability. At 6'10", I've seen Leonard put up 59 points on six of 10 from three, including a number of really tough shots that he had to create for himself and make over the defender. Leonard is able to square up mid-air and make shots that most others wouldn't even dream of taking. His shot selection needs a little refinement, but his ability to make tough shots makes him a potential star at the next levels. One thing you notice right away when watching Leonard is his quick twitch athleticism. He's so quick from a standstill to beat his defender. He's extremely light on his feet and he gets off his feet very quickly. I've seen him dunk from near the free throw line and he glides through the air effortlessly with ease. Part of what makes Leonard so special is his ability to handle and see the floor. He's not a point guard, but he can run the point. He can make decisions out of a ball screen. He can get paint touches and make reads there. Even though he needs to improve his right hand a little in terms of turning the corner with it, with his left hand, he is spectacular. And like everyone has said, nobody has ever been able to stop James Harden from getting to his left hand. I've talked about how Leonard is able to create his own shot and make really difficult shots, but he's also able to get to his spots balanced on the floor and create his own pull-up jumpers. And at his size, there's nobody that can hang with him and guard him and stop him from seeing the rim and making a tough shot. In addition, what makes Leonard such a nightmare is that he can post up smaller guards. Again, like I've discussed, he's very quick off his feet and has that quick twitch athleticism where defenders can't react before he's up and off his feet and finishing at the rim. It's obvious from recent games that Leonard's made a concerted effort to crash the offensive glass and use his size and athleticism to get putbacks. He's got good touch in the paint and is able to finish with both hands. One area Leonard can continue to get better on is the defensive rebounding end. He still needs to give full effort at all times, defending on the perimeter, boxing out and closing the possession with a rebound. One of the things I've loved about Leonard is that I know his head is in the right place as a decision maker. He's interested in the team winning and making the right play more than getting his own points. And even though sometimes he takes some bad shots at the expense of the offense, every time he sees a play that's there to be made, he makes it whether that's a pass or whether that's a scoring opportunity for himself. Part of what makes Leonard a unicorn is that he has the scoring gene, but also is looking to make the right play. And even though he's gonna take some shots that might seem like they're at the expense of the offense, he's also gonna make the right play when he sees that it's there. As you can tell from my analysis, Leonard is a five leaf prospect. And I think Leonard's gonna be a star in college and has potential to be a star at the NBA level. There's just no limit to how good this kid can be. Stay tuned for next Monday and my next Monday morning scouting report. Thanks for watching.